Well, good morning. William from Williams, Philippines here. Fish. Uh, well, today's March 1st. It's the beginning of a new month. Uh, I'm going to maintain and try to keep this uh, daily thing going. I shaved. Top. Got the top, too. Yeah. Some days I just decide to. It is what it is. Anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, planning on doing this uh, little daily and keep it going. Uh, I also plan on trying to put out small bits of other videos on a regular basis. Uh, if I can, you know, I'm going to try to put out at least once a week something besides just this little daily one here. Uh, we'll see. Uh, not making any guarantees. But I am trying to keep up on the once a day little one. Which, I don't know. <laughs> so far it's been able to be done on a regular basis. Uh, and well... It is what it is. Anyway, I am planning on uh, being packing and doing things and getting rid of stuff. So I can, well, not packing, but uh, moving stuff and putting it away in suitcases so that I can save it for later and try to decide whether it's going to the Philippines or going to stay here and get left at my aunt's house uh, in her shed. So haven't decided that yet. But pretty much everything else has got to go. And so, trying to get things packed up and out the door, one way or another, uh, is my plans. And, well, it's kind of like uh, with my radios. Uh, do I sell them, or do I bring one of them with me, or do I bring both of them with me? Uh, I don't know. Part of me says yes, part of me says no. Uh, there's import things, you know, I have to have papers for it to bring it there. Part of me says yay, the other part's like, uh, the headache of it. I don't know if I want to deal with that. But I do like talking on the radio. I'm, I'm ham radio operator, KG5QNJ. Is me. Uh... So yeah, the question of bringing that with me, you know, is uh, if I bring a radio, I'm going to need an antenna, which I build over there. It's not that hard, uh, but you have to have a place to actually set up an antenna, which means I have to find a place pretty quick, because I sure don't want to be toting around a radio in a, you know, on a motorcycle riding up and down the coast. Of some place. Uh, I don't know. I, like I say, there's things I haven't got completely thought out yet. You know, kind of like that Rusi uh, Carabao. Part of me says, yeah, do that. Turn it, you know, get one and turn it into a, a camper. Ride it all over the place. I guess if I did that, I could uh, set it up so where the antenna could just stand up on the side of that or you know, lay down across the top of it when it's not in use. But that'd be like a big harpoon sticking out there in front and back waiting for somebody to crash into it because they didn't see it. I don't know. Kind of scary thought there. <laughs> eh, we'll see. Anyway. It is what it is. Uh, I don't know, you know, what island I do want to go to first, other than the fact that I want to hit Cebu uh, to land, and probably going to go to uh, Iloilo, Panay Island, to go get my eyes worked on. After that, I just don't know. You know, uh, 
there's so many of them over there. You know, I'd like to hit at least the biggest ones. Uh, and it's like, if I'm moving around all the time, would I want to carry all this equipment? You know, so, and do I want to take and have it shipped over after I find a place? You know, I don't know. I guess I could have my aunt ha hold it there until I decide. I don't know. Uh, and then part of me says, just go ahead and sell it. And, you know, take the money. Uh, there's goods to that and there's bads to that. Uh, I, and what do I do with my little two meters? You know, my small radios. Uh, or, like that one, a 10 meter. Uh radio do I want to carry it with me too 10 meters are useful they can reach out and talk to people all of them can it's just a question of you know kind of like with the uh, little 2 meter I can talk to the space station if I time it right and keep an antenna aimed right to catch it because that thing's moving yeah, that's a moving target flying across. So, uh, do I want to try to t even carry that over there? I don't know. I really just don't know. Uh, there's so many things that are in the in that category. You know, I just, you know, there's some things I know I can't carry with me. Period. You know, my guns and such. They can't go there. Uh, most I'm going to do is leave some with my aunt and get rid of most of the rest of them. Uh, that means I got to start. I guess I need to go to the next gun show that comes through town and try to get a table and sit down at it and see what folks are willing to throw at me for it. I don't know. There's just so many questions to be answered between now and then, and I've got to take and get it figured out, but I also have to take and, you know, get all of this stuff packed up, so I'm trying to get rid of the stuff that can go out the door easy, you know, uh, beehives, I got somebody that's going to take them, uh, but they got to get up here and get them. The train ain't going to drive all the way down there. Uh, but they haven't got over here yet. Uh, so, I don't know. There's a couple things like that that, uh, you know, are useful. Very useful. It's like with my aquaponics setup. Uh, I've got to tear it down. I've got it down to next to nothing in the way of water in it. But I need to get it uh, emptied out and out the door and yeah no more fish so yeah it is what it is but that's okay I'll get it figured out but yes I got to get that out the door I need you know it's like all the stuff in the kitchen uh, needs to go out uh, so, you know so I can get the floor in there down and that stuff's gonna, you know, I got a chest freezer. I gotta get rid of that too. I gotta empty it out and you know, get rid of, you know, eat all the meat that's frozen in there. So, yeah. I'm working on getting the chest freezer empty, which means I got to make sure I don't go out and buy a bunch of groceries and stick in my chest freezer or in my uh, refrigerator's freezer. And I've actually been doing pretty good at that. Oh, I, I really feel worried when I open up my refrigerator freezer and there's the wall, the back of it is visible. I'm not used to that. I like having my freezer full because, well, if the freezer is full, you're not starving. It's, it's a head thing. 
<laughs> I just don't like an empty freezer. Uh, or pantry. Either one, yeah. I have issues. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a question of... Uh, do I, you know, add any more stuff on the rare occasion that I'm in the mood for a particular thing? I I might, you know, buy a pa buy a steak if I see one I like. But in most cases, I'm trying to eat what's coming out of my freezer, and most of it. And I actually hauled off here just recently, and I opened up my freezer and pulled out a piece of meat, and I realized. It had been in there so long that it had freezer burned. Yeah. Not good. I hate having wasted meat. That's okay. The dog's out there liked it. Uh, that's a good thing. Puppies always like meat. Uh, even more so than my cats. Yeah. I don't know. Cats are weird. Uh, they act like... Yeah, they act like they own me, I don't own them. Uh, it is what it is. Anyway, I've got things to get going and get done, and i got to put this up and or upload it and get it done, so I have to let it go. Y'all have a good day and blessings. This is William from Williams, Philippines, and Fish is out. Later, bye-bye.